right, let me give you a little bit of context. A little over two and a half years ago, I quit playing League of Legends for health concerns. Streaming the game eight hours a day and playing nonstop was really starting to hurt physically. My right hand was starting to feel numbness and tingling and pain from the nonstop right clicking. So I stopped playing, went to a doctor and was told that I had a repetitive strain injury. Usually the first treatment in this kind of injury is rest, which meant that I immediately had to disconnect from the internet. I stopped playing League of Legends, I stopped streaming, I even stopped making YouTube videos for a period of time, and honestly, Life was pretty awesome. I was reading books again. I was going outside more frequently. I was doing all sorts of things that I hadn't done in years that felt way healthier and more enjoyable to spend my time doing, which kind of encouraged me to not come back to League of Legends. Eventually my health did recover at least a little bit, so I began using the computer more sparingly, but normally just for work-related things, mostly in making YouTube videos. But over the course of the past year or so, I've been really wanting to come back to League. See, recently, there have been a lot of people who've been claiming that League of Legends is the worst it's ever been. I've seen lots of discussion about how the community is too toxic, how the balance of the game is horrible, how there's no new content being released, and how Riot is just making terrible decisions in general. And every time I see one of these discussions pop up, I can't help but think, isn't this the way the game has always been? I first started playing League of Legends in 2010, and ever since season one, these have been issues people have been complaining about every single day, which makes it hard for me to believe that the game is somehow worse today than it has been during any point in the last 13 years. But this gave me a beautifully horrible idea. What if I came back and played another game of League of Legends but did so completely fresh. I don't look up any of the changes that have occurred in the past two and a half years since I stopped playing. I don't look up any strategies, any builds, any details about currently meta champions. I just come back and approach the game as any new player would, experiencing whatever the state of things are today and compare it to what the game was like when I left. I think I'm in a unique position here. I really don't know anything that's happened in the past three years. Like I've watched some esports events for the sake of trying to get documents documentary ideas, but beyond that, I have had no exposure to new League of Legends gameplay. So let's do this. Let's sit down, play another match of League of Legends, and see if the game really is so much worse today. Okay, this video was not one of my best ideas. This is future Jibei, by the way. I'm recording this after having just played that game. Past Jibei doesn't know this at the moment, but this match isn't gonna go super well. There's gonna be some mistakes. There's gonna be some frustration. I might jump in every once in a while in an effort to provide a little bit of additional perspective. I'm sorry if this is annoying. I just feel like I can give some added context because there are gonna be some errors. Like, for example. You know what? I think we could play a solo queue game right away. I don't think we need to warm up in normals. Whoa, hang on a second, what is that? What are those icons? Those are new. Is bronze the, the rank that I am right now? Okay, that, that should make this, hopefully, pretty easy. <laughs> and we're loading up into game. You got this, you got this. Top lane first pick. What is that, Gromp, Krug. Oh, does Riot not let you see your teammates' usernames in Champion Select? That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I think if there's any chance that we're gonna succeed, in this, I, we're gonna have to play a champion we are very familiar with. And here we go. Hello, old friend. Whoa, what is this? Is this like suggested runes and masteries? That's pretty cool. It looks like we are playing against a Cho'Gath top lane, I'm guessing. Cho'Gath top lane, which would mean I want magic resistance. One thing I was worried about when doing this experiment was that I was gonna have to deal with a bunch of new champions that I wasn't familiar with. We do have one new character in this game, our support, which I don't know how to say that, but for the most part, it looks like we have a pretty normal team composition on either side, which I am thankful for. Although I'm not playing against Shogath top lane, I'm playing against Shivana top lane. That is, I should have realized that. So we already messed up a little bit by taking magic resistance against Shivana, who is mostly physical damage, I'm assuming. I actually probably don't know much about what's gonna go on in this game, do I? No, I don't. 
I've already said a lot of things that are incorrect, which you will see here in a moment. To be clear, this video was a bad idea because I just didn't understand how different League of Legends is today compared to when I left. There have been 13 new champions released, three major off-season updates, and all sorts of other changes to things ranging from the client to the in-game item shop. For the moment, all of this newness has left me a little bit stunned, but I'm excited. Okay, but this is it. This is it. Oh my, <laughs> dude, I'm playing League of Legends again. Oh, okay, okay, calm down. And she's getting pretty close. I might have to hit two. Oh, okay, okay. It's crazy how the muscle memory of like all the old Aurelia combos just kicked in. <laughs> it feels like I know exactly what to do. I guess Aurelia probably hasn't been changed that much since earlier. Okay, I, I'm not gonna try to tower dive. I'm not that ballsy. Okay. Hang on, this was a little bit aggressive, going and invading the jungle. Oh. Don't be dumb, don't be dumb, don't be dumb. <laughs> I'm playing just as aggressively as I did when I left. Oh, I, that, I'm not gonna flash for that. I, I could have, I probably would have killed her and then I would have died to the tower or something, I'm sure. In general, it feels like in League of Legends, if, if you don't know what you're doing, you should be a little bit more cautious and careful and passive. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so far we're just six minutes in, but nothing much has happened. A pretty even game in general, three kills to three. I have a nice little CS lead on the Shivana, although it looks like she's trying to scale. She went for call. Oh, what is that? That's a pretty cool. Hey, encouraging teamwork. I like it, Riot. That seems that seems really neat. Yeah, right off the bat, League of Legends feels better today than it did when I left. Most of the differences I'm noticing, I would say, are pretty much straight up positive. Giving players new tools for communication seems really awesome, while obscuring identifiers like usernames in champion select should be curbing harassment. But of course, League of Legends always finds a way to get frustrating. And for me, that frustration is gonna come from how little I understand what's going on. Oh, got an ulti out of her. That's pretty good. Although I kind of want to get a kill. I mean, it's a, <laughs> I'm teammate. I want to get a solo kill, dude. Wow, that hurts. Okay, I guess she's maxing that. Is that like whatever this Shivana build is, AP Shivana? Maybe it's good I took the magic resist anyway. Man, this is, this feels a little dangerous. Although we have this support here. I don't know what this support does. I don't know if they're good in the early game, mid game, late game, whatever. I think we got number though. All right, we take the Herald, and bot lane should be fine. I actually have Teleport if they try to dive for or something. And can I Teleport to that? Wait. Oh, I can't use Teleport on... Huh. So I can't use Teleport on anything that's not a turret until 14 minutes. That's interesting. That's probably a pretty good way to balance Teleport. Was that in the game when I quit? I don't think it was. <laughs> Wait, what's a Chemtech drink? It's a hex drink. Yeah, I'm pretty clueless. And this is the moment I'm beginning to realize I'm a bit out of my depth. So far, my experience coming back to League has been a pretty positive one. It's really cool how this game is a lot like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to do certain things like CS or pull off a champion's combo, that information gets hardwired into your DNA for life. I'm remembering how to do all this stuff from years ago instantly in a way that feels really awesome. I I am also seeing that there are a lot of different strategies that I need to adjust to very quickly, but I'm starting to remember how to play League at this point, and I'm also remembering how fun this game can be. Nope. Oh. Okay. Oh, good job, good job, there we go. I only get the assist, so that's a little bit not as cool, but still, now we can take some turret plates, right? Yeah. Oh, bot lane's getting ganked right as this thing comes up. Oh, I don't have a ward to teleport to, do I? Oh, I'm gonna die.
Oh, go, go, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna build Blade of the Rune King, and then I guess I'll we'll get Mercury Treads. Um, I didn't really know, or I wasn't really thinking about what sort of build I want. Broadly speaking, I think my plan might just be to go ahead and build stuff that's always worked on Aurelia and hope that it still does. <laughs> And this is where everything begins to go wrong. Most of the things I've missed out on in League so far have been relatively small features that I'm having a lot of fun discovering and learning how they all work. This has made playing the game so far a pretty fun experience as I have been remembering all my old play patterns and learning all these new features. But one major update that happened while I've been gone has been the introduction of mythic items. Apparently in League of Legends today, it's really important for champions to rush a mythic as either their first or second item in a build. Item Optimization is probably more important than ever in this context, and not knowing my items is about to screw me. Oh, that hurts. I don't know how <laughs> I'm supposed to play against this. I don't know if I knew how to play against AP Shivana when I played League of Legends. In this scenario, I rushed a Blade of the Ruin King, which might have been fine if I fought Shivana more frequently, but I'm kind of just sitting back and letting her poke me forever. A quick Google search shows I might have done better if I rushed one of the new mythic items that have been added since I quit, or even if I went for a Wit's End instead. The big issue, though, is that I'm just not fighting early on in this game when I have the advantage. The Shivana has been so passive and I have not chased her down. Now she's starting to scale to a point where her poke is really annoying. And to make matters worse, the deteriorating top lane situation has me so zeroed in on my own lane, I didn't notice that the enemy team just took the second Rift Herald and are now pushing down mid lane. Okay team, we are letting them take our base without doing anything. All right, we get a couple of kills, two for one there, but we lose our inhibitor and Shivana TP's bot. You know what? I'm just going to let Shivana do what she needs. I, 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 <laughs> I can't win the game by just farming against her. That's going to make for a very boring YouTube video. Okay, are they going to take Baron off of that? Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, I don't know what that was. Was that the ultimate or something of, <laughs> of our support or whatever? No, dude, this is, we're gonna lose! I'm trying to keep a positive face for the YouTube video at this point, but this is the moment I started to realize everything I've done wrong. I could have done a lot of things differently. I could have been more aggressive in laning phase, trying to deny CS from Shivana or go for more solo kills. I could have also tried to roam more often to try to punish enemies with a teleport gank or some other form of aggression, but I didn't do either. I just kind of farmed in lane and I'm starting to realize now I might be too far behind to change the outcome of this game. Oh, what the? That was annoying. I'm also learning why everyone's complaining about Yumi so much right now. Wow, and this Shivana is just split pushing nonstop. This is, ah, oh, this is so annoying. Uh, <laughs> God. You can tell I'm getting frustrated here, but to be honest, this is what I asked for. I wanted to come back to League to play another match and experience what the game is like today. And frankly, I don't think League is any worse. Almost every change to the game that I've found has been something I would say is a net positive. Things League of Legends is better off for having, but the core gameplay of League is still the same and it can still be really frustrating. In many ways, playing a match of League of Legends is all about trying to perform your best in a hyper-competitive arena where every mistake you make is punished mercilessly. You're doing your best to hopefully win the game, make your teammates proud, but every little slip up that you have gets magnified. Every death in the early game, every missed opportunity, every poor item choice 
just results in this compounding effect where eventually the enemy team is able to snowball all these advantages. You might recognize the mistakes that you've made, but it's too late. The game is already out of hand. So all you can do is sit there and experience the consequences of all these mistakes, feeling bad about it. By the end of this game, I was really upset and I wanted to lash out at somebody. I wanted to flame my teammates for being losers. I wanted to flame them for not banning Yumi. I wanted to flame this Shivana for being such a boring tank player who ran away like a coward every time I tried to do something fun. But Riot wouldn't even let me unmute her in the post-game lobby to tell her how bad she is. I was just so angry and full of emotion. And then, you know what? That was pretty fun. I kind of want to play again. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, get her, get her. Oh, that's good, that's good. Let's go! <laughs> I missed this game! Let's go. 7, 1, and 6. And is that the game? Good game. Well played. <laughs> Dude, I missed this. Oh, I missed this so much. Yeah, I think League of Legends is still pretty fun. It's the same old game that I left. League is definitely a game that has a lot of negatives, and I can totally understand how an average person might get fed up with all the frustrating qualities in this game. Between toxic teammates, the over-reliance on teamwork, how easy it is for a match to get out of control, and how every little mistake you make gets thrown back in your face tenfold to make you feel bad about yourself, it can be a lot to deal with. But for me, when things go wrong, that just makes me want to queue up again. That feedback loop of seeing your errors, using it as a learning opportunity, and hopefully becoming a better player through the experience, that's just so enjoyable to me. At the risk of sounding cheesy, it kind of mirrors life a bit. Like in life, there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of making mistakes, mistakes that you can't go back and fix. All you can do is live with the consequences. But just because you make mistakes doesn't mean you won't have new opportunities in the future. And the healthiest approach to life, generally I would say, is using your mistakes as learning opportunities to grow and better yourself. It can be very frustrating and it can be easy to blame other people for everything that goes wrong. Sometimes it is other people's fault that everything goes wrong. But getting the opportunity to have a couple of times where you recognize something you did wrong and using that as an opportunity to improve yourself better your gameplay for the future and reaping the rewards afterward it's just thrilling i don't know if everybody views the experience that way but league is a pretty fun game for me playing again made it all too easy to remember why i spent 10 years of my life playing this game and you know what in fact i kind of want to play another <laughs> <laughs>